The guitar of the day is a Fender Custom Shop Master Built Guitar. This is a Dennis Galuska Master Built 60s Telecaster. The finish color is seafoam green, and you can also see the bottom color is Aztec Gold. On this guitar, we have Brazilian Rosewood neck and fretboard. And that's why on the back of the headstock, it says USA only. Usually, if it's a Master Build guitar, you'll see the Master Builder signature on the back of the headstock. This guitar is built by an Italian company called Paoletti Guitars. This is a Richard Fortas signature model. The shotgun shell tone and volume knobs is one of the cool features of their guitar. And their guitars are known for their reclaimed chestnut wood body. Basically, you're getting a new guitar with a vintage tone. How cool is that? The day is also a master built guitar from Fender Custom Shop. This is a Ron Thorne master built 1952 Telecaster in butterscotch blonde finish. The body wood is roasted ash, and as you can see, this guitar is heavy relic. The neck wood is roasted flame maple. And this guitar is super light, only weighs about 6.3 pounds. And on the back of the headstock, we have Ron Thorne's signature. He is the principal master builder at Fender Custom Shop. If you're interested in his guitars, check out his Instagram page. The guitar of the day is a 1997 Fender Custom Shop Jimi Hendrix Monterey Pop Stratocaster. This is the replica of the guitar that he set on fire during the encore of his Monterey Pop Music Festival performance. He actually painted the original guitar himself. And right before he set the guitar on fire, he told everyone that he's going to sacrifice something he loved. This one is number 2 out of 210. Today's guitar is a Gibson Custom Shop made to measure 1958 Les Paul Standard reissue. The top wood is flame maple in lemon burst finish. One of the special features of this guitar is the chunky neck profile. Some people like the feel of it and believes it gives them more leverage to bend. The guitar that I want to show you today is this Gibson guitar. Just by looking at the shape of this case, you can tell this is a special guitar. This is 1981 Gibson Flying V, aka the V. This type of flying Vs are only made in between 81 to 84. Today I want to show you guys this Fender Custom Shop 1961 Stratocaster in shell pink finish. I think there are several colors you have to have in your collection. There are Sonic Blue, Surf Green, Shell Pink, and Vista Red. Today I want to show you guys this Gibson Custom Shop Historic 1959 Les Paul Standard. The original 1959 Les Paul Standard was designed to play jazz and pop music. However, this guitar was turned into a rock and roll machine by some of the world's greatest guitarists such as Jimmy Page and Eric Clapton. The guitar of today is from one of the best boutique guitar shops in the world. This is a James Tyler Studio Elite HD with spalted maple top and tobacco sunburst finish. The mid boost preamp with bypass button is one of the most special features of this guitar. I personally think that headstock and logo is very cool and unique. Let me know what you guys think. The guitar of the day is the king of flat tops. This is a Gibson pre-war SJ200 Rosewood and the finish color is vintage sunburst. We have thermally aged red spruce on the top and rosewood on the back and sides. And on the bridge and fretboard we have ebony. And we have script Gibson inlay on the headstock. Looks pretty cool. And the tuning machines are Grover Imperials. This is a very nice sounding guitar and I can definitely play this guitar all day. Today's guitar was previously owned by rockabilly guitarist Brian Setzer. This is a TV Jones Spectrasonic. If you're interested in Brian Setzer's personal guitar collection, you can go to his official reverb page to check him out. Today I want to show you guys this 2014 Gibson Custom Shop 57 Gold Top reissue. The original 57 Gold Tops are exceptionally valued by the collectors 
and depending on the condition, the price range is in between 65 to 85,000. When you see a guitar case like this, you know it's something really special. This is a Gretsch Custom Shop Steven Stern Master Built G6134 Penguin. As you can see, this guitar comes with Cadillac G tailpiece and it's paired with classic TV Jones pickups. It's a little bit hard to see from the video, but this guitar is relict and the finish color of this guitar is Firebird Red. And here's the certificate of authenticity. This is literally the best Gretsch guitar you can ever get. Super cool. The guitar of the day is a Fender Custom Shop 60s Esquire. The finish color is Lake Placid Blue. There's only one pickup on this guitar, but you still get three positions on the control. Tone control is off on the first position, and on the second position you have tone control. The third position, the tone control is off with preset triple roll off. The guitar of the day is this master build guitar from Fender Custom Shop. This is a 1960s Stratocaster in seafoam green finish. I think the gold hardware really matches the guitar. This is a master built guitar. That means only one master builder built this guitar from the beginning to the end. It's the highest level guitar you can get from Fender. Hey guys, you have to check this one out. The guitar of the day is also a master built guitar. This is a Fender Custom Shop Paul Waller master built Mustang. The finish color is Capri Orange. This guitar is paired with wide range humbucking pickups. The scale length of this guitar is 24 inches. That is because this model was introduced as a student model back in the days. And I have to say, I absolutely enjoyed playing this guitar. It's so easy to play and it sounds amazing. I want to show you guys a bass guitar. And trust me, this is something you have never seen before. This is a 2020 NAMM show Jason Smith Master Built Jazz Bass. The finish color is called Red to Gold Starburst. This bass is a 70s style jazz bass. And paired with the gold hardware, it looks absolutely stunning. Instead of Fender Custom Shop logo on the back of the headstock, we have the Master Builder signature. Currently, there are 12 Master Builders in Fender Custom Shop, including Steven Stern, who is the Master Builder for Gretsch Guitars. This is a Gibson Custom Shop 1957 Les Paul Custom Reissue. The finish color is classic white, and this is a made-to-measure guitar. The original 57 is one of the most iconic guitars in the world, and luckily we have these reissues to enjoy. The guitar that I want to show you today is also very special. This is a Fender Custom Shop. 70th anniversary broadcaster. This guitar was introduced in October of 1950. Due to a trademark conflict with Gretsch, the broadcaster name was cut off. Therefore, this guitar is also known as No Caster. Later in 1951, they renamed this guitar to Telecaster, which became one of the most popular guitars in the world. The guitar of the day is this John Mayer signature model, PRS Silver Sky. This limited edition guitar is in nebula finish, also known as flip-flop finish. What's so unique about this finish is that it reflects hue and light differently at different angles. This guitar is limited to 500 pieces worldwide. A regular Silver Sky is around $2,300 and resale price for this one can go up to $6,000. Today's guitar is a Gibson Custom Shop made to measure 1958 Les Paul Standard reissue. The top wood is flame maple in lemon burst finish. One of the special features of this guitar is the chunky neck profile. Some people like the feel of it and believes it gives them more leverage to bend. Today's guitar is a vintage guitar. You can tell by looking at that case. It's beat up and it's missing the handle. It's very rusty. 
This guitar is a 1963 Gibson SG Custom with Maestro Vibrola. Depending on the condition, this type of guitar can go from seven to $11,000.